Symbolism 101 A communique for the IOBB2 from the Illuminati. It has been said by many lesser minds than mine that the true or secret symbol of the IO is the point or dot within a circle. To Masons, this symbol is not complete without the twin vertical pillars of the two St. Johns of Christian antiquity aligned on either side of it. However, from the perspective of Adam Weishaupt, founder of the IO and avid student of Masonic lore, the denuded circum circle punct point was a symbol of Persian Zoroastrianism, which he wrongly identified as Hindu Parsi in origin. To Weishaupt, the circumpunct was a solar symbol of light, heat, and strength. To we in the perfectibilist Io today, it has these meanings and many more. We know it also as a symbol of the Ajna Chakra, or third eye, of alchemical gold, the perfected stone, of molecular elemental hydrogen and other cosmic perfect orbitals, of a mathematical theorem by Thales, and of Kether, or the monad, in mysticism. We know of these meanings even via public resources for information, such as the internet. However, there remain many teachings that are reserved to those of us, such as myself, with large libraries of real books who belong to our order today. I wish to share some of these with you now for posterity. Part 1. The Circumpunct The standard circumpunct is a centroid dot encompassed by a circle. It is taken within the modern I.O. as symbolic of the same essential notion as the eye in the pyramid or the Statue of Liberty. However, rather than seen from the front, this symbol is here showing us the same motif from above, looking straight down on it. Students of basic geometry will quickly realize the implication by this simple observation on this symbol for it to stand not only for the square-based pyramid, but also for a circular conic section. For students of the novel Flatland, it should ring in a special bell regarding the curved or bowed-out light cone of universal expansion since the Big Bang, the circle symbolic of our expanded universe today, the point of the original moment of our cosmic creation. As the sphere of the fourth dimension passes through the plane of our own 3D realm, it appears as a hyperbolically expanding curvature that approaches critical mass before the beginning of the Big Crunch when all time rewinds to the beginning again. According to modern standardized mathematics, there are four basic shapes the circumpunct model can assume if taken as a slice of such a conical surface. 1. The usual dot in a circle. 2. An ellipse with two focal points. 3. A parabola that approaches absolute finitude asymptotically. 4. A hyperbola that approaches absolute infinitude asymptotically. It should hardly need mentioning here to spark the imagination of my readers to thoughts of moiré patterns and Tesla's normalized scalar wave fields. Just as the circumpunct model's universal expansion, assuming beyond C, ZPE resistance, so too do all the conical slices make measures of the same model. For example, the concept of an elliptical, parallel dimensional timeline for our universe passing through the usual flat circumpunct method of measuring a slice in the light cone of time would result in a fourth dimensional tremor alike inverse moiré patterns as their centroid points are brought closer to convergence. As the dual elliptical focal points approached one another, they would form an interference pattern in the field of the flat elliptical event plane until the two points converged into a single circumpunct. It should also be of note that 
in such a model where an elliptical brain were moving through our own event horizon or slice of time, cycles and patterns in matter energy subspace affected by the force of gravity would experience increasingly regular patterns until the point where the two points merged into one. This would continue in the pattern of an asymptote, alike that assumed in the cases of the parabola and the hyperbola. As a final note about tessellations of harmonic frequencies as strange attractors, graft alike fractals and quaternions, note the tiling of the Masonic trestle board that tapers off into infinity along the horizon. This line of reasoning is more in keeping with the traditional sentiments of Aleister Crowley and his followers in NASA and JPL who built Hubble. Thus we see the same symbol of the circumpunct showing up in both Crowley's logo for himself under his cult moniker 2 Megatherion and the much later logo for the U.S. Space Program's Orbital Telescope. In discussing the circumpunct symbol, it is also important that we not forget to mention its relationship to the perfect triangle, as the ideal hyperbola is an exactly perpendicular slice to our own temporary moment that we call our here and now. However, before we move on to the triangle, the last points that are worth mentioning regarding the circumpunct are in regards to the conical dunce cap, adorning the heads of accused witches during the Inquisition, the Catholic purge of the Gnostics, being also associable with this same symbol, inverted into a championship for the light of hope by the Bavarian Illuminati. In Weishaupt's own system for encryption of his I.O. documents, the circumpunct appeared as the letter S. This is why Weishaupt signed all his correspondences with it. His code name in the I.O. was Spartacus, and Spartacus begins with the letter S, symbolized in the I.O. cipher as a circumpunct. Part 2. The Triangle to quote from a Masonic source, every schoolboy knows about basic trigonometry, the study of triangles on a flat surface. While the study of conic slice sections is considered a specialized section in this study, the use of the major forms of triangle, isosceles, scalene, and right, that occur on a flat surface comprise most of the rest, often leaving out the sorts of triangles that can occur on non-flat surfaces. Much is taught in schools about sines, cosines, and tangents. Little is learned about the use of all right angled triangles to plot trajectory windows by NASA computers. Such an impossible triangle occurs on the surface of a sphere, such as our planet, where 90 degree angled lines of longitude intersect at 90 degrees with the equatorial latitude. The impossible all right angled triangle is symbolized in the ancient logo called today the Triskeli. It symbolizes the same force as the polar S-shaped spiral of the yin-yang, but as a triangle instead of a double. Just as the yin-yang is a symbol for constant changes occurring in our thermosphere, now called entropy, the so-called Tao of Qi, so too does the circular triskeli symbolize an energy pattern prevalent in the universal order, the trinity, or law of three. To Pythagoreans, three was the first whole number because of this odd prime Fibonacci sum is when, in social groups, democracy can begin. Socially speaking, for Pythagoras, the trinity is the monad. However, just as there are good and bad karma expressed in the yin-yang symbol's dipolarity, so also 
are these possible for the three traits of the Triskali? This can be expressed using color coding, rotational orientation, clockwise or counterclockwise, or by substituting square, right-angled corners for the symbolic circle. Just as the triple six shapes of the Triskali can each be either good or bad, the three legs of the impossible all right angle triangles triple seven are three and one and one and three inseparable all good or all bad as one either clockwise or counterclockwise as has already been shown in this lecture the eye especially the eye of providence symbolizing the right eye of god originally the god horus ra is a symbol for the circumpunct. Just so, the pyramid, especially the 13-stepped U.S. seal on the dollar, is merely a symbol for the triangle. The triangle around the eye, in the depiction of the eye over the pyramid itself, symbolizes a tetrahedron, a shape whose triangular base would not fit evenly as the missing capstone of the Great Pyramid. The eye in the middle of the triangle symbolizes the fourth apex projected outward toward the viewer into third dimensional space. This occurs in the same way that the circumpunct reveals a cone 